Let me take just a minute to explain what the .info file is. The .info file contains a set of key value pairs that supply metadata to Drupal about the module. It uses the INI file format, and that just is a very simple format that allows you to set a number of parameters and supply some kind of configuration. You'd see this kind of configuration file for technologies like Apache, PHP, and MySQL. And the way it works in Drupal is very similar. So let's go ahead and take a look at this line by line. So we have a line here that says name equals two minute module. Now this tells Drupal what the name of the module is. And so any time that that name gets referenced, one place is on the module listings page. It will say two minute module. The next line is description. And this also displays on the module listing page. The package is the name of the collection of modules that this module will display in on the module management page. So if we have a number of modules and they all belong to this build a module package, then they'll all display together in a group on the module page. The core parameter tells Drupal what version of Drupal this module is compatible with. In this case, it's 7.x, which means any version of Drupal 7. This next line is just a little bit different than the rest. You see it's the key is files, but it also contains a beginning and an ending bracket before it sets the key. This is an indicator that we're dealing with an array. So this files key could contain multiple values. So if we copied and pasted this, this would be a valid way to use this key, except we would have a different file here. The files parameter allows us to include files in the Drupal 7 code registry. And so any files that aren't the .module file, like .inc files that include code, will then be loaded conditionally based on the need for the code in that file. So certain pages that don't need that code can not include it and improve performance. The .module file will always be included but it should also be added to the files parameter here. Okay, if we want to, we can go ahead and copy this and paste it into our blank.info file. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now we can go to the modules page on our Drupal site. And if we scroll down, we should see a new group called build a module. Now this corresponds with the package value inside of our info file. The name here, two minute module, corresponds to our name in the .info file. And the description here, demonstration of how quickly you can build a single page module, corresponds to the description right here. Now we could enable this now and nothing would break, it would work just fine, but because there's nothing in our .module file, nothing will actually happen.